Welcome back, everybody. When your days are filled with getting kids to school, laundry, soccer practice, and about a million other errands, right? You don't always have time to prepare a great dinner. Well, here to rescue your crazy nights with her beef and polenta casserole is the author of Cook Once, Eat All Week. Cassie Joy Garcia. Welcome, Cassie. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Debbie, Maria, and Kim at the counter are Ooh. going to enjoy this so for sure. Right. Now, your book is all about how families can cook just once, but then eat all week long. Mm. This yes. is wow. genius. I want to. I want to be like the living version of your book. Mm. That's what I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I want to do it. You can do it. You definitely can. So yeah, you know, getting a healthy, delicious dinner on the table. We all want to do that, but it takes so much time to prepare. And so that's when we came up with this meal prep method. So you can make a week's worth of meals with minimal time in the kitchen. And what we do is we batch cook three basic components: a protein, a veggie, and a starch. Mm. And then assemble those into three totally different delicious dinners. It's fast, it's easy, and affordable, and everyone's gonna love it. And, and you trick delicious. the kids into thinking yeah, they have three really completely good. different mm -hmm. meals at the same time. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start with this one, this casserole, and, and to begin with, we have our beef here. What cut are we using for this? We're just gonna use a chuck row. So this, okay. this lends to that affordability, right? Because we're going to transform this, shred it up, and kind of give it that, you know, that uh, short rib flavor oh, at the end of okay. it. Oh, fantastic. And the way to do that is to use the pressure cooker, right? That yeah. helps kind of get it a little bit more tender. Is that exactly, okay. it makes it tender, saves a ton of time. Right. All right, so you put a little salt on there. Yeah, so we've got two pounds of chuck roast. We're going to put a little salt on there. Very good. And then put it in this pressure. Just like that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So easy, right? This was short rib. It. Oh, yes. You we hear got that, you. everybody? Debbie <laughs> thought it was short rib. We got chuck roast. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're just okay, going to put it right into that pressure cooker. You got a half cup of water going in there, too. That helps as well, I, I bet. Exactly. Half okay. cup of water goes on there. And then this guy, we're going to close it and then just set the timer. Okay, beautiful. So while that's cooking, we're going to go through some of the other elements here. We've already caramelized some onions. Yes. So the trick with caramelized onions, it's so easy. Don't be intimidated. You just put a bunch of onions in a pan with some butter and some salt and then low heat and let it go. And when you think it's done, give it a few more minutes and it'll really build a lot of flavor. So right when you think it's done, it's just, you're like, mm, a couple more minutes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, That's usually my whole life in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> great, now the polenta, which is, you know, one of the stars of this dish for sure. Yes. Um, we've got some chicken broth. You've got a little salt already on the stove boiling and now you're gonna add the polenta, or you say cornmeal. Yes, very exactly, similar. very, very similar. Okay. So that's what we've got. We've got this broth simmering here with a little salt and all I'm gonna do is pour this dry cornmeal right in here. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Turn it down a little bit. Deb, what do you think I'm going to ask you about the chicken broth? Can you use? Can you use vegetable, vegetable broth? broth? Bone broth. Uh, you, bone broth. broth. <laughs> <laughs> all the above. All the above. Oh, yes. Very good. Whatever yes. your heart desires. Exactly. And how long do you have that on the stove for? Let that simmer for 10 minutes, give it a quick stir, and then 15 more and it's done. Mm. Okay, very good. And we're going to Jump over here. So this is already sitting. The beauty of television. We've got a prepped <laughs> one here, ready to go. Yeah, and now you really grits. Yeah, right. yeah. exactly. Yeah. People are yeah. fine grits. Yeah. People are always so intimidated, but it's you're making grits. It is yeah. a little intimidating, <laughs> yeah. really. But that's. I mean, it's very simple. But look yeah. how easy that was. Exactly. So we've got this finished after that time is done. Add a little butter in there. Okay. All right. You could also add olive oil. Yummy. A mm. little black pepper, and then taste it. I like to add just a touch more salt. Okay, just to make sure. Salt exactly. Is desired. And then give it a stir, and your polenta is done. Wow, mm. That easy. is pretty amazing. Okay, and I know you've got some uh, kale sauteing there. We'll get to that in a minute. Because once the um, uh, the polenta is done, then we start sort of building our castle. Yes. Is that the idea? That's okay, it. Good. You so ready? I'm get this ready over here. For okay. You. Thank you um, so much. You want me to hold that? Want me to bring it over yeah. so that you could do yeah, that? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that way I also feel like I'm doing something. There you go, Cameron. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Great. Okay, okay, good. So there, this is the first layer. This is the first layer. We're just going to pour it on. Let me just pour it right yes. in there? Yes. Oh, look how cool I was going to make you spoon it in. <laughs> <laughs> that, might, that, might, that would perfect. Okay, very nice. Super fast. That's oh, all you do. Oh, layer my. number one. It's done. And then mm. comes the kale? And then comes the kale. Okay, good. So this oh. has just been sauteing um, with what? A little, I'm going to come around this side. Yes, here. with just a little olive oil and a little, I like to put a fresh lemon in my kale mm. to brighten nice. it up, I you love know? That kale. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Lemony kale. 
Sounds great. Spread that out. That beautiful, Cassie. Now, Thank before you. we kind of get into the meat here, I see you've also got a little um, red wine sauce Ooh, that you're going to yes. mix in with the meat. Is that the idea? Exactly. This red wine sauce is how we're going to transform this basic chuck roast into short rib flavor. That's why it tastes okay, fancy. It so does, good. exactly. So, you know what we can do? Why don't you bring the meat over here and we can do this uh, got it. out in front. Cleaning my so, I'll just pour that in. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, pour it and, right and just in. Just so I'm clear, I apologize. This is just, just regular red wine. Do you recommend? We jazzed it up a little okay, bit. Tell we me. put a little red wine wine, some balsamic vinegar oh, in right. there yeah, for great. extra flavor, Excellent. some thyme. Delicious. And then all you do, you know, while those onions are caramelizing, let that simmer and reduce by about half. Okay, great. Yeah. And, that, and that's when you add it into the beef. That's exactly. Stir Once it it's there. done, look and at look that. Look at that shredded look. I mean, it really does um, look like that short rib. Like it does. How long it, does the meat, I'm sorry, did I miss that, have to stay in, in the um, slow cooker? I would give it about an hour. That's and then it. that's it. And then you're done. And you have shredded beef that you can repurpose in a bunch of different dishes. Gosh, you can make course, tacos for Taco point. Tuesday. Yes. And Just if you have one of these pressure is. cookers, yeah, do you use a slow it? cooker? You could also use a slow cooker. Okay. You could do it in your oven. It just mm. takes varying amounts of time. Okay. This is the okay. fastest way, though. Yes. Yeah. We've got the polenta, the kale, the beef, um, mm -hmm. and now we add our caramelized onions. Can yep. I just kind of toss those yep, in there? Yep, that's it. Beautiful. But we're not done quite yet, because now that we've got we've built this casserole, this is now where we have to put it in the oven exactly. and bake it for a little while, right? Exactly, okay. yep, because we want all of these components to be the same temperature, Good. right? I'm and not sure why I'm using the oven mitts. It hasn't no, been. No, it's, it's cold, but there you go. Yeah, because I just look like I'm, I'm in a, I'm a photo. I've got the apron, yeah. I've got the oven mitts, and I've got the towel. And then, you know what we'll do? Oh, yeah. And then we'll open oh. and take the other one out. <laughs> Woo! You're doing a great job, right, Kathy? He's doing so great. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, but this is really, uh, by the way, user-friendly, cook once, eat all week. I'm a genius. I'm going to start serving it up. Let's have a little taste. Perfect. Let's do it. Yeah. You're going to sprinkle love it. a little. Oh, sprinkle. Go ahead. Just fresh garnish. You know, that really helps bring a dish back to life. There you go. That's mm. beautiful, Cassie. Mm. Get Thank lots you. of that short rib. This is Thank for you. Thank you so you much. Good. Thank yes, you. short rib. Some oh, of that for me. It's perfect. I'm hungry.